Oh, hello, fellow Vehicle Sim fans. This is Marcus Korvac, and welcome back to Korvac Vehicle Sims. Today, we are behind the wheel of the USS Albany. Initially classified as a protected cruiser, then as a go uh, gunboat, and then later as a lake cruiser, her hull number was CL-23. She was the second of only two New Orleans-class protected cruisers, and the third of five ships to bear her name, the most recent of which is a Los Angeles-class submarine. Last episode, I had a momentary verbal uh, stupid and misidentified her as the Alabama. In the United States Navy, cruisers, and more recently, attack subs, were named for American cities, while battleships, and now ballistic missile subs, are named for states. The Al uh, Albany, as a cruiser, was obviously named for a city, the capital of New York State, not far from where I live. She was actually built in England for the Brazilian Navy, but bought by the Americans who outbid the Spanish Navy for her and her sister ship. Got all that? Her later life was also fairly complicated. She was commissioned and decommissioned four separate times before her decommissioning finally stuck. She is painted up in the great white uh, uh, fleet colors that the Americans used, which I always find is very gorgeous. So we're going to go in here, do a quick battle, and uh, basically get a little bit further along in the early stages of the game. We're still versus uh, AI. So we're on islands again, same map as last time. And here we are looted in. Once again, we're sort of in the middle. All of our allies are humans. And again, all of our opponents are uh, part of the AI. The sun's coming out of a different direction today than it was last time. Just about ready to go. So we're going to start out, get up to full speed, and start heading inwards and see what chips we can find. Once again, because we're going up against just the, uh, the bots for the game, they're not especially challenging, so there isn't really any danger in heading straight into the middle of things. Obviously, if we're playing against human players, we would want to be playing a lot more cautiously than this. Shells out and see what happens. Oh, one hit. Got three guns around the barrel on her, and. Oh, splashes. Trying to go between these islands without bumping into the one on either side. Another hit. <laughs> so we're hitting that island next to us. Okay, some more hits onto her. Albany shooting over and Albany at an Albany. Low 
enough health, and we have not taken a single hit so far. Oh, there we go, we took a hit. And I gave back three hits in exchange. So with this close in, you see how the guns are having a really hard time keeping up. That's the tra traverse um, not keeping up with our, um, our just speed across our opponent as uh, the two of us act very close range moving in opposite directions. But once we get a, a little bit further out, our guns can keep up again, and we get a kill. Alright, so she's on fire. So setting on fire is uh, something that the high explosive shells will do, and it does uh, a little bit of damage over time. Set on fire again. You can see the fire there on the deck. And if your opponent gets low enough on health, they will eventually burn right down. Then they can explode from it. Else does. One hit. There we go. That's three. Island. We only get the front three guns on the one side uh, to bear. The stern gun just won't rotate quite far enough. I'm trying not to crash into this ship in front of us either. Alright, there's only three opponents left. To catch anybody before the match ends. I actually lost one of our allies. That's surprising. So, yeah, they're on the other side of this island. There's someone else over there already. We're also, very nearly done capturing the capture point, which you can see with the blue line going around the uh, red diamond shape. Our victory is in sight. Yeah, we're just about done. What? And that's going to seal it. So we win by capture. And that's it. So this one went a lot better than the uh, previous match. We got... Just over 20,000 damage, 45 hits, 5 incapacitations, 3 destroyed, and 5 set on fire. <laughs> and we are solidly the first result for our team. Alright, so we've leveled up to level 3. Ship Tech Trees. Upon reaching maximum XP with the current ship, the next ship in the branch becomes available. Also, the current ship becomes elite and starts earning elite ship XP. Explore the national tech trees in the ship screen. And we also get a reward of a little bit of credits as well. All right, so at this point now we can go into tech tree on this ship. And get further ahead so we can you know, go up to the next tier, so tier two. Uh, cruiser. It's going to be the St. Louis next. Uh, typical big cruiser of the pre-Dreadnought era. This ship is armed with numerous artillery. This rate of fire was quite rapid for her time. And an armor belt protecting the propulsion. So she's more heavily armored, 
bigger guns, you know, I'll get more of a, uh, a serious ship as we move up through the tiers towards progressively more modern and more deadly ships. So we're gonna buy her. There we go. So still painted in great white fleet colors, you know, gold uh, superstructure, white hull, very gorgeous look. And you can see already she's got a lot more guns. As she gets upgraded, she actually gets to the point where she is just bristling with guns, covered in guns. No turrets, though. They're all sort of, well, for and after turret, but most of her firepower is going to be just um, in guns sticking off the side. So that's enough for right now, and we'll pick back up again next time.